catastrophic failure. It's gone. Italian tech, if you know, you know. Pulling apart my build. This one's all out of sorts because our house is in use. Oh, oh no, fuse has just gone straight away. Oh. Turn it off. Turn it off. DC, AC, fish bash bosh. I have been in here less than a year and I have had a catastrophic failure. One of the main components of the electrics has gone kaput, just completely given out. And this is why you shouldn't buy Italian tech. So my last video, the good, the bad, the ugly, which I filmed in October, I said in there that I know I don't have enough power for winter already. Well, <laughs> that might not actually be the case. What has happened is I've had a failure, a problem. And I thought that it was just because the daylights had, ch you know, the daylight changed, the days had got shorter, the sun's less in, in autumn. I was just like, okay, I just don't have enough power. No, 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 actually we had a problem. So the NDS gold black box, which um, did the DC to DC charging, the AC input and the solar. However, we didn't actually put the solar through it. We put the solar through a Victron, which I am super glad about now. Thanks dad. So I just noticed after a couple of days of being still, like not moving, that my battery had gone down to about 20% and I was like, oh no, I was like, this is actually going to be, I haven't put enough solar on, this is just going to be too difficult in winter. And then for some reason, I just checked it while I was driving and normally when you drive, it puts about 37, 40 amps in. It's like, that's the most power you get. Now, I remember when I first moved in and I went to the Peak District and I did like the test weekends. Yeah, I drove for 25 minutes and it topped up my battery 15%. But what had been happening is the one of the wires was loose, the DC to DC wire was loose, and it wasn't putting enough current through, and it had got too hot, and it burnt itself out basically. So I've spent the last five or six weekends just milling around my parents' house, and me and my dad have like trying to look at it, work out what's happening. We've been plugging in the AC because the AC wouldn't even charge. It was throwing in like one or two amps. When I was driving, it was throwing in two or three amps, you know, and it should have been 47. It should be 10 amps when you're doing the AC. So took us a minute to figure out what was wrong. To start with, we just theorized that it was getting too hot and we'd planned to like lift it off the floor. And then when we got in there, we noticed there was a burnt wire. So two weeks ago, dad and I sorted that out and we did this. This is what the cable looked like it had completely burnt out from the battery as I was driving into the NDS box. So we replaced it with a new one. I didn't film it because I just had my head down trying to get it done and we had another issue to sort at the same time. I'd recently brought a new tyre pump machine because I'd had a flat and that actually blew the fuse in the cigarette lighter in the cab. So Dad created a new place for a new cigarette lighter as you can see him working here. And this one had a 30 amp fuse so I could pump my tyres up and it wouldn't blow the one in the cab. So we fixed that for me and that all works fine. It's got a little light on to show you if the fuse is blown or not. Right? Yeah. Amazing. So we spent the day doing that. Dad sorted that absolutely perfect. Used it. It's worked fine. Then we went to go have an evening with Gunter Steiner and we thought all was well. So we thought we'd fixed it. You know, driving, threw in 40 amps again, AC, topped it back up. So I plugged it back, I plugged it in, charged it back up to full, went back off on my travels, on about my life, and uh, just went about my days for a few days. Everything was fine, no problem. After a couple of days, I stopped checking because again, my battery was just at 100% all the time because when you're driving, it tops it up. Then I woke up one morning, went to turn the light on, no power. My battery, completely dead in the middle of the night. So I turned, I just turned the engine on and I was like, right, okay, you know, I've not, I've not, <laughs> I've not clocked it. Um, turn the engine on and that will chuck in some power and then we'll go off to work. So turn the engine on and it did instantly charge the battery. I think I got it up to like 24, 25%. Um, had it on for about half an hour, turned it off, carried on getting ready and then drove off to work. Then when I was driving in between clients, I checked the app and again, it was only throwing in three amps. And I made an extra special trip to drive half an hour there, half an hour back to top up the battery. And then when I came back up to where my local place is where I work, I noticed it still, it hadn't topped it up at all. Like 1% on an hour's drive and an hour should put in 30, 
you know, 30, 40%. So again, I was like, right, something's wrong. Um, so I call my dad and I'm like, pops, we're having more problems again. And then the next day I noticed that there was absolutely nothing going in it. So we had to put <laughs> something in place, came to dad's house. He, we had a look at it again. Um, we thought, you know, fuse had gone or something like that. Anyway, the whole box now, just completely no power on it at all. So we thought we'd fixed the problem after four weeks. Then another 10 days later, the whole thing's just completely given out. So now I have zero power at all when I'm driving, zero AC input, and the solar is pretty crappy because we've had nothing but short, dark days. So I have had to, I mean, God bless my dad and his network of friends. Richard, if you're watching, thank you. You have saved me having to move back in with my parents for a couple of days. So basically I've been milling around again. This is why there's been no videos because I've, this is my last six weeks of my life. But we've had to do something to sort of keep me going. I'll show you. It's dead now because I've had it on overnight, but basically we borrowed a battery charger from one of my dad's friends. And I have been using this beast, which again is dead because I've had it on overnight. Thank you, my lucky stars for that all powers. Um, another shout out to them because uh, that has been a lifesaver. So we've basically we've plugged this in, um, in here and dad's put it through into the battery and we've had it like that for maybe three or four nights. This is my own fault for buying Italian tech. <laughs> Dad has actually looked, the item, the DNS gold is now discontinued. So we can't actually replace it even if we wanted to, not that I would have done because obviously it's gone kaput in less than a year. Well, actually it's probably been installed 18 months now, but obviously I only moved in in March. So I have ordered and upgraded and we are going all Victron now. So we've got a separate AC charger and a separate DC to DC charger. We're gonna focus on the DC one today. Don't know obviously how much time we're gonna have. I've got to go back to work um, and I need this livable. So if we can get it charging while I drive, I don't really plug in my electric anyway. I can hopefully like live for another week and then next weekend we can maybe fit the AC one. Um, so bit of dramas. Catastrophic failure! Pops to the rescue again. This is us basically attempting to fix it. Goodness me, van life really is. <laughs> putting me through the ringer at the minute. But you know, it's all learning, it's all growth, and uh, this in the long run will do me good because these things have got a five year warranty. So fingers crossed. I just couldn't afford it at the time of the build. I could not afford, I had to do what I had. I was on a budget. So anyway, a year later, we can upgrade to Victron. So this is me and Pops. Welcome Pops back to the channel. So every single day I come in and I've been topping this up and then charging it overnight and then the sun's doing it through the day and then this overnight and we've just about managed to keep it it was at 30% when it went kaput. And then I think the first night we went up to 38, then it went up to 45, then it went up to 48, and then it's gone up to 55 this morning. So it's worked wonders, but time to fix it. So here we have charger for AC and DC to DC isolated charger. So we don't have to run it directly through the battery. Those are the two bits of kit, and I've had to get a lead with them as well. And luckily, luck is on our side once again, we still have, this is the shower board that I was donated, um, that we ended up using as my kitchen work surface. Well, these have to be mounted on a heat proof surface, and guess what this is? So that's what we're using. Dad is now already, well into it and he's got to get under here because this is where the isolation switch is then we've got to pull apart the sofa and get in under here yeah so they've got to be mounted vertically like that one this is the this is the problem that is just kaput now Thank, thanks uh, thanks for that nds so we might have to use this side and do a bit of rearranging but essentially 
this is what's gone. So um, if anybody was thinking about getting one of these, I don't recommend it because it's gone. And uh, Italian tech, if you know, you know. So we've got to figure out what to do. Um, we'll come back to you when we worked it out. Pulling apart my build. So, big one. We're going to have to put on this after adding board in. Uh, that's where the NDS has come from. And I think the only thing we've worked out how to do it is we're going to have to build another layer here and add it on there. Positive and negative this is in there before it goes in so it's not too fiddly. Yeah? Yeah. So that one's already made, we'll have to cut that one to length. Oh brilliant, okay. And that'll be enough. Yeah. And that'll be strong enough to hold it. Yeah. So we'll drill a hole there. Hold there. Yeah. At the bottom. Yeah, I, I can mark. Mark it where we can get in. Right, cool. Okay. This one's all out of sorts because our house is in use. Hmm? So it sits down here and it needs to go all the way up there. Into the fuse box. Yeah. So this is the power lead for the AC, but we don't need the plug, so Dad's going to wire it in. Where we've just taken the NDS one out, which is, goes into this fuse box here. That's that one. That's that one. Right. Okay. So is blue negative, brown positive, and green and ye yellow earth? Yes. Ah, I got it right. Yes. Yeah. Cool. They call it neutral in AC, but I yes. get it. Yeah. 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 So now, yeah, we need to make two leads coming off. So we want a black one at the bottom of here. Yeah. 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 To here. Yeah. Neutral. Yeah. And then we need a red one coming out of here. To go positive and into the battery. Let's go into this. To go into that. This side of that. Yes, okay. So let's undo this. So that's the old circuit breaker. Yeah. And instead of one wire that we fixed less than two weeks ago, we're now having to put Three on, or rather, I say we. It's definitely the royal we. <laughs> Bob's to the rescue once again. So it's a bit, a bit tricky, but maybe you can get it right. on. There you are, perfect. Right, so wow. this one here can go along now and go onto there. Yeah. So that's fine. So now we need to work out where to put this new this the new red one the new red one yeah so we can mount that one up this one up um that one's going to go to the other one so and they've got to go through that light. switch haven't they they've got to go through the breaker so, so they've got yes the breaker we need to yeah to put in now basically okay so the breaker's here yeah if we put that there mm -hmm. move it down to about there we, that one will come round to there. Yeah. We've got plenty for that one to, to go to there. there. Yeah. We've got a new one to go the to there. Yeah. And we've got plenty of red left to do that. Okay. So we'll screw it about here. That's all right. Yeah. And then that wire there. Yeah. Will come round and sit on one of those. Okay. So, so we think we've got everything. So the AC's in. The AC's in. DC's, in. DC's to there. DC's to there. DC return is there. Yeah. So we do. We need to put the circuit breaker circuit in. Circuit breaker in. And fuses our, up. You've already done that. And then we need to plug in. Fuses up. And we need to plug in. 
So I'll go get the AC cable and we'll plug it in. Well, do you want to watch the lights? Oh yeah, okay. Because it said, take you... that with you, they all should flash and then press the mode button for lithium iron. Right. Okay, so Pops is plugging it in. Mode button. Yeah? Oh, oh no, fuse has just gone straight away. It's just, fuse has gone down. Oh, all the lights are on. What fuse? This this fuse here, it's just tripped it. Oh, right. Let me just put it to lithium. Oh no. Uh, the lights came on then. Got, should I try to turn it up or yeah, not? Yeah. No, oh, straight no. down, straight down, yeah, straight gone. Oh, that's only six amps. Oh, there you go then. Brief just changed the plan. We've left the AC one for now because that doesn't fix anything. I need the DC one in and we've lost half the day already. So we're on, cut this piece and uh, had to cut out a tiny little bit, nick for that wire, holes for those wires. And because this covers up the other one, I've just asked if we can put that hole in so you can still see the light through it. Um, so now we need to put a batten in at the bottom and then fix that to that and then we can put the DC charger on there. Red wire but we're going to make another, another one on now to go from there to there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Are you keeping up? We're all Victroned out now, that looks nice. Okay, I'm pressing, yep, yeah, pushing. Pressure, pressure, pressure. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Okay. Yeah. Go on, Dad. There we go. Right, put that on there. Go inside and do it. Yeah. So, I'll put this one like that. So, I'll put that one off. down the right way. we're just connecting up to the DC right so that's that one now function charger or power supply oh, so it's cool. going to be charging isn't it it's going to charge isn't it yeah. okay right default smart lithium yeah that's the one we need yeah. Um, charger enabled, charger voltage, absorption voltage 14.2, float voltage 13.5, yeah. bulk is 10, oh that's 10 hours, and rebulk voltage offset is 0 0.10 volts. Okay. Absorption, adaptive absorption time, automatically calculates absorption time, fixed absorption time, 2 hours. Yeah. Okay, and then, right, engine shutdown detection, yeah. enabled. Yeah. So alternator type, smart alternator. Yeah, it is. Start voltage is 14. Delayed start voltage is 13.3. Yeah. Delayed start voltage delay is 120 seconds. So two minutes then before it's going to put charge into my vehicle battery yeah, before it puts it right. into here. Perfect. And then shutdown voltage is 13.10. Do they all seem right to yeah, you? They seem okay. Yeah. This is what I got here was the charging for your lithium ion. It was 14.2 and float was 13.5. So that's so right. That's per, that's and then the lockout is, those, is yeah. quite happy. That's just changed it ever yeah. so slightly. Yeah. Um, so I think it just changed yeah. from charger to... Right. But we want charge, don't we? Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Um, I would go start your engine. Really? Yeah. Do you want to, do you want to take that? See what happens. I just be able to remove... Oh. Turn it off. Turn it off. We forgot something. <laughs> we mustn't forget to put that in and then we forget. Put it in before, mustn't put it in before. So. Mm, right. So that now goes in there. Now, now I can start. Are we sure? <laughs> Battery is charging. So there's no, oh, there is a light on there. The Battery green, is charging. Right, green flashing light yeah, on the box. It, yeah. And it says it's charging with, so now go to your battery app. 53 charging. Yeah, that's it. Not 0.2, 0.3 at the minute. So I presume after 120 seconds, that's gonna blow up. It should do. It's very, very slowly trickling up. That's 40 now. Oh. Yeah, off? No, 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 leave it on. Leave it on. Okay. 
Oh, Dad. <laughs> thinking, wow, well, there we go. 31 amps. Oh, really? Oh, my God, this has been six weeks of not having, not having this working. 29. Okay. So that's charging. That's charging. So that's working? Yeah. Eee. Good. Right, you're yeah. guessing everybody. Okay, yeah. I'll turn it off. We'll mount it. That's one done. Then the AC is to finish. We have to work out why that fuse is tripping. Well, actually, we know why the fuse is tripping. Yeah. It's only got six amp fuse in it, and it probably needs about 30 amp fuse. So we'll do that after we've mounted the DC charger. <gasps> oh, finally, a fixed fan. So we can still see the light down through that one. That's going to end up there. That one's there. All three looking nice and neat. Let's do electric one. I've never gone on electric ever. Oh, right. I didn't know you could. So it'll do my heating on electric as well? When you plugged in here. Wow, I didn't actually know that, Dad. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was just constantly gas. Yeah. Uh, it's never used it before, so let's see. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's going. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Probably on the electric one because it's only you're only on six amps. Not yeah. Ten. So what Dad's done is this is a six amp, this is a ten amp, and the six you saw tripped when the AC was in, so he swapped them round because the ten was the Truma, and uh, the ten works with the AC. We've tried that, so we swapped it round. We put the Truma back in the six amp. And then we were just testing that to see if it would not trip and work, which it seems to have done. So yeah. I think you might have sorted it all, Daddy, yeah. again. Mm -hmm. okay. What a legend. Look at this. And everything now matches and it's all blue. <laughs> and they've all got lights on and they all work. And after six very long weeks, we've finally got working electrics. Both AC and DC are in. Dad is just finishing up tidy, tidying all the wires because we had to cut some... Um, what are they called? Tie, tie wraps, thank you. I had to cut some tie wraps to get some wires, so he's just gonna sort all that up. And then I'm gonna pull up and actually charge the van for the first time. <laughs> and then I can actually go off again, so that'll be nice. But yeah, what a legend, Dad, thank you. Okay. <laughs> and this is the finished product. We've had to take the plastic cover off this because I wouldn't be able to access it. Now that's in there. Um, obviously everything's a bit of a squeeze, but that's the AC uh, trips, which now don't trip. We've now got three inputs into this circuit breaker from the three different Victron things. Uh, solar one, DC, AC, all working, bish bash bosh. And the last job was to put the sofa back together and get my house back in order. And my house is all back together again. Hopefully, that's the end of that problem. It's been an interesting couple of months trying to work all that out and figure it out, but thanks once again to Pops, we are done. So, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one, when hopefully everything is running smoothly. <laughs> Peace out. So Dad's just taken apart this, because honestly, this is so light, we cannot understand how those three Victron things are in here. So, um, engineer brain, I said, oh, let's take it apart, see what's happened. That's a 70 amp fuse that's gone. It's gone, but it's been like it's got discolored and then it'd overheat and then the insulation of the resistance, because it's not very stiff. No. The resistance will go up and then bang. That's as simple as that. Well, that was the problem we had with this. It was overheating, which we presumed was because this was loose. But maybe there was just, I mean, look at that. Look. Just can't understand how this box does the same as, well, there's a reason why it's cheap, isn't it? Yeah. So do you think then if you replace that, it would potentially work I again? I think it might work again. Oh, right. I don't want, I mean, I don't want it no. back in, but. No. Um, yeah. Maybe have a play. There's so what's, there's another amp. fuse there, 40 amp, and another 40, 40 amp, and 25, then 25, 25, 25. 25. And 25. 25. Yeah, but it's the big 71 that supplies, um, supplies the battery. Mm. Well, I did, when the battery died, 
um, and I woke up and the battery was dead. I put the engine on and I left it running for about half an hour, didn't I? Just sitting. I didn't yeah. move the van, I just was no. sitting and I don't know if that's no, no, done it because... Be. But since then, that's when it's gone. After that, that's yeah. when it's gone. So that's the only thing I can think of that's blown it. But it shouldn't blow it because you're supposed to drive yeah. with it. So. so yeah, that one, number three, yeah. is one that's blown. Yeah. And that's the one that comes from your the battery from the van. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Either way, it's all fixed now. <laughs> yeah. Yay!